How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm Warren Thompson, and yesterday at CinemaCon, Sony, during their panel, showed the first teaser trailer for Craven the Hunter, giving the first look of Aaron Taylor Johnson as Craven himself. They also showed us who the villain of the movie is going to be, or at least one of the villains. I think there is a secret villain out there that, of course, I'll go over in this video, but they showed us Rhino, or at least a tease of Rhino. But most importantly, for Sony, they have finally decided to just go for it. This movie is confirmed to be rated R, which I really wish they decided to do for the Venom movies. Like seriously, we got a Carnage movie that was PG-13, a movie about a super messed up serial killer and the Carnage symbiote who kills and kills and kills. They gave us that at PG-13. Now, apparently, according to them, they wanted to keep it PG-13 so Spider-Man could eventually appear, and hopefully that is what is going to happen for Venom 3, but it does seem, and is pretty much confirmed, that Sony is committing to getting all of these Spider-Man side characters together on screen for a pretty big event eventually, which I'm hoping is a true Sinister Six movie, but we'll talk about Spider-Man and his connection to all of this later on in the video. We'll start by breaking down the footage that we saw, and of course, if you're a huge Marvel fan, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Channel. We talk about it daily and be sure to leave a comment down below as well. It enters you in our giveaway, which we'll talk about at the end of the video. So disclaimer here, I'm a little confused at what was shown first. Some outlets that were there say that it starts with a rural countryside where there's a handful of apparent mercenaries. However, according to Eric Davis over at Fandango, he said that the footage started by seeing Craven biting a dude's nose off. Regardless of how it started, both of these scenes are in the movie, so we'll just break it down. We'll talk about the mercenary scene first though. So this scene takes place in a rural countryside where a handful of mercenaries and poachers are confronted and hacked and slashed to death by Craven, and the reports from discussing films say that it is super bloody, lots of blood, lots of gore in this scene. Basically, the movie, like I said, is going full out. They are earning their rated R rating. This isn't going to be a typical watered down Sony Marvel movie. They're going full out, and there's other examples of how gory it's going to be and bloody it's going to be later on. And really what this scene is showing us is that Craven, the hunter, or Sergei Kravenov, he is the ultimate hunter. And in the comics, he is a big game hunter. Now, I'm not sure how they're going to make him in the Sony Marvel universe because after all, this is going to be an origin story for Kraven, but in the comics, he kind of has his own code that he sticks to. He doesn't like the use of guns or bows or arrows. He does use blow darts, but he prefers to take down these large, dangerous animals just with his bare hands or knives. But his biggest hunt, the ultimate goal for him, is to hunt down and capture and defeat Spider-Man. That's pretty much his biggest thing in the comics. But what is really interesting about Kraven in this Sony Spider-Verse film is that Aaron Taylor Johnson, who is playing Kraven, described the character as being a conservationist and protector of the natural world. So I'm kind of wondering if perhaps Kraven the Hunter in the Sony Spider-Verse does not actually kill animals. Since he's a conservationist, that means he wants to preserve wildlife and the environment. So in this scene where there's poachers and he's killing them and gutting them to death, Perhaps that's his way of kind of saving the animals. Maybe his hunt in this movie is people, which would make Spider-Man seem really, really appealing to him because he's a man, but he has the powers and the abilities of a spider. It also says that the poachers do have animal carcasses, so this is probably why he kills them because they were killing animals. And the footage describes Kraven the Hunter killing them very animalistic-like, as in Kraven is kind of like an animal himself. When he attacks, he uses weapons, his hands, and even his own teeth as he bites a piece of a poacher's face off his nose and spits out the blood. And some have described this scene stating that he bites the dude's nose off and spits it into the camera. And throughout the trailer, when he attacks people, we see him use everything from giant spears to fully sized bear traps to decapitate and chop up people into pieces. So yeah, they're going full out with the rated R with the gore. And apparently there's a lot of F-bombs in the teaser as well. So that's one scene. Then we move on to narration from Russell Crowe, who is confirmed to be playing the father of Craven. We hear him narrate a little bit stating what you are and what you'll be. Basically noting that he and his son are both predators and he raised his son in a very predator versus prey philosophy and way. And according to Brandon Davis from comicbook.com, Craven is going to vow to be nothing like his father, which is why I believe his father could be 
the true main villain of the film. We know that Rhino is going to be a primary villain of the film, but I'm also wondering if perhaps Craven's father is behind Rhino. We'll get to that in just a bit. But perhaps with his father, it's sort of like a, well, I raised you one way and you are not that way. So now I'm basically going to have to teach you a lesson. So I'm going to make this Rhino person and you're going to have to take him down or I'm going to have to kill you myself if Rhino doesn't. Now we move into the city and we see Craven be told that he is just another man hitting for a trophy. And this kind of explains that this is indeed an origin story. He is not the well-known world famous Craven the Hunter yet, which is what he wants to be. So giving us a hint that this is the origin for Craven here. Then we go into a final scene where Craven is seen sitting in an office chair. And when a person walks in, he throws a spear at the person. The spear goes right through the person. Craven kills them, gets his target. And again, this entire teaser all of the action is described as very gory and brutal now the last scene is a really big kind of tease of rhino we see a man inject himself with a serum we then see his arms start to transform and he says don't you want to know why they call me rhino we basically see his arm transform into the arm of a rhinoceros hinting that the rest of his body is about to transform as well so sony is really taking a different approach with rhino here than they did with the amazing spider-man in the amazing spider-man 2 rhino was mechanical whereas in this film craven the hunter it's going to be caused by an, an injection and it's basically going to be just a mutation and the trailer ends with the tagline, nothing survives the hunt. So overall, this movie actually sounds like it's going to be pretty promising. Since Morbius, Sony seems to have a better handle of the Sony Spider-Verse that they are trying to set up. And Madam Web is an upcoming movie that is supposed to really set up everything. And Sony is apparently going to be doubling down on having all of the villains of Spider-Man eventually come together. And this is interesting because Kraven the Hunter is one of the founding members of the Sinister Six. As I mentioned before, Spider-Man is a big foe for Kraven. He is pretty much the ultimate prize for Kraven. And he really pisses Kraven off because he's never been able to defeat him. So when Doc Ock comes to him saying, hey, we stole Aunt May and we have this plan to take on Spider-Man, Spider-Man you in? He says yes, and he's one of the founding members of the Sinister Six. Now, as far as what Sony plans to do with Vulture and Morbius, that's kind of a gray area right now. But keep in mind that Craven is actually the half-brother of Chameleon. So perhaps Chameleon could be involved with this Sinister Six project as well when they eventually go up against Spider-Man. Now, as far as who our Spider-Man is going to be, we don't exactly know yet. Tom Hardy has teased heavily that Spider-Man is going to be in Venom 3, and he's already told us that if he's going for the gold medal in the Olympics, Spider-Man vs. Venom, that's the gold medal. That's what he's going for. So right now we have every reason to believe that Venom 3 is going to have Spider-Man in it. So this will more than likely be when we get introduced to the new Spider-Man of the Sony Spider-Verse, but also keep in mind it is a Spider-Verse. There are probably going to be multiple different versions of Spider-Man. But I'm very hopeful for a very good Sinister Six movie since Kraven the Hunter so far is rated R, very gory, lots of F-bombs apparently. They're really going for it. So I hope they really go for it with their Spider-Verse, with all of these villains, with the Sinister Six. Stop watering it down like the Venom movies. Nothing against them. I like them, but they should have been rated R. And hopefully after all of this, we get a really good Spider-Verse. But hey, let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comments down below. What do you think? Don't forget to like the video and subscribe and leave a comment on the video that enters you for our giveaway for a chance to win an Xbox Series X, a PS5, some Marvel Legends items, and some DC items as well. The winner gets to pick and we pick a winner at the end of each month. You can also follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.